In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this extreme blur effect in Photoshop in just three easy steps. Let's go. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Dixon from Twitter Designs. Before we begin, I want to let you guys know that I am giving away this PSD file for free. The font, the texture, everything is in there. So get it now. Link below. Now, first step is adding the text, but before that, of course, we need to create a new document first. So click on the print tab and then select A4, um, set the orientation in horizontal and the background to black. Now, the font I'm using today is called He Tanusha with just the sauce, but it doesn't matter what font you use. This effect applies to any font or object that you want to use, so it's not limited to this specific type only. Uh, I'm just going to type in the Batman because I just saw the new trailer and I'm very excited for it now. And then um, I am actually separating them in two font layers because I kind of want to recreate the, you know, the actual typeface of the Batman poster. But this is not compulsory. You can just do whatever you want with it. Uh, and then I'm just going to fix the kerning a little and that's it. Next step is adding the effect. First, let's convert the font layer to smart object. So just right click and then select smart object. After that, I go to filter, blur gallery, and then fill blur. Now I gotta give credit to Charlie Pangas for this effect because he actually made a video about it first. So go check out his channel, link below. Moving on, you should get something like this. So in this new window, you can apply the blur effect. But what makes this effect so unique is that you can actually pinpoint certain areas of this font and then apply different blur intensities to it so let's say i want to blur out this top section of the letter a so i'm just going to drag this point up here and then i'm going to increase the intensity by just dragging like this after that i'm going to click on the middle of the letter m but for this one i'm not going to set the blur intensity too high so now it kind of creates this out of focus effect which is pretty cool and then um, you can actually keep adding more anchor points to further alter the font um, at this point, it's completely up to you. You can test it out yourself and then stop when you're happy with it. Last step is the easiest part, which is adding textures and colors. Now, open the texture file in the folder. Again, download links below. Um, once it's open, just drag the texture into the working file like this. Now, let's size it down a little. After that, let's set the blending mode to hard light. You can test out the other modes too if you want and see which one suits you better. But um, I was actually torn between hard light and linear light because they both look pretty good. Um, but I decided with hard light instead. After that, let's add a solid color. So just go to this adjustment button here and then select solid color. Set the color to this shade of red. Hex code is on screen, of course. Then set the blending mode to multiply and there you go. Bonus tip, since the base color of the file is in black and white, you can actually invert them and it will create different results. So just go to the adjustment button here and then select invert. Make sure it's below the solid color layer and there it is. You can click it on and off and it'll give out different vibe. Also, the good thing about this, you can always double click on the blur gallery effect and then edit the blur again. So nothing is set in stone. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Subscribe if you like videos like this. I upload weekly and every week I give out free stuff. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Catch you on the next one.